guys, it's your girl Pape and I'm back with a new vlog. In this video, I'll be showing you 5 hangout places I like to go to in Zamboanga City. So I filmed this last week during the holiday season. So there are Christmas light decors and sites included. First off on the list is Lantauan Grassland. It's a nature view park a little up on a hill. And the best thing about the place is it's overlooking the city. took my family to Lantauan to enjoy the fresh air and the sunset breeze so it is a little bit commercialized now compared to before because you'll have to pay like 20 pesos entrance fee and 20 pesos again for the parking fee There are shops inside so you can really have dinner there and meals and the prices are a little pricey a little bit pricey but um, you can have grilled and brutal food meals also the city night lights look really pretty from upland town and the only thing that's a little bit of a challenge there is the narrow road to and fro in town Hi guys, welcome to <laughs> Take two, take two. Hi guys, welcome to our um, five hangout places in Sampanga. Uh oh. In Chabacano. Uh cinco pasos. <laughs> Basta yun na yun, all the season. Mas marami kayong mapupuntahan ngayon sa Sampanga. O di ba? Pak na pa. Yeah, English. Chance. Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> White lights. Next, the Visoria Night Market yeah. at City Bus Terminal. So I pick up my friend Ravi from his travel That's and we just enjoyed a simple dinner in this food park. So the prices are okay and there's lots of grilled street food and Miranda snack options that you can try. And there's lots of people hanging out too, so it's a busy place. <laughs> On the same night after dinner, we met up with some more of my girlfriends, Nika and Kriza, and we went to check out the lights at the city hall. So it's the yearly Christmas light decorations and a lot of people would go there to take photos. Well, um, I don't really celebrate the holiday but it's a really fun sight and there's loud music and um, it was a little bit late in the evening but it's still fun to be out there. And you can really take good shots because there are less people.
Another hangout place I like going to is Pasananka. Well, there are about five or six food parks you can try there. We tried、um, Havana Mercado Central. It's one of the newly opened places, and there are thrift shops at the entrance. And there are at least、um, 10 to 12 food, food shops, I think. And it's a good place to pig out and chit chat with friends over street foods or rice beans. The next up is the Lacasitas Food Park. It's actually the newest hangout place in Pasananka, and there are about 10 to 12 food shops as well, I think. We usually spend time here enjoying some soda fruit drinks and some finger foods. It's a chill place if you want to hang out with friends and enjoy some liquid drinks and then some jam music sessions. So, yeah. Driving a little up further the road, there are more food shops, usually just、um, coffee shops or multi places. And then there's a long stretch of barbecue stations. Barbecue Street! So, there's decorations in this area too, and we just filmed this, the sites and, and how the stores look like. But they usually close around 10 or 11 pm, so there's just a few shops left and a few people because we actually got there a little bit late. Antonio's Mercato. And for the stop, Pasnaka Food Park Road, you can also spot some diner shops there. There's music band playing,、um, and then there's this last stop food park. It's Antonio's Mercato. So they usually just close down around midnight.、Um, it's kind of like the nightlife street in s a m b o n g a City, but on a limited time. So yeah, city province. Pasananka, there's plenty of street food places in the city. Also, visited 23rd Park in Baluwasin with my friends from work, April, Dixon, and Frazen. 
So I don't usually go around this area, but it's close to our workplace and yeah, my friends picked the location. We had the same grilled food options and street food snacks and the prices are okay and in range with the other food parts in Pasalanka. But it's less crowded, so it's not that busy of a place and, the, and then there's this painted walls that can be a good background for photos. in my list is the city boulevard so it's really a place to enjoy watching sunrise and sunsets i went there with my family we took our baby for a stroll and then we tried some snacks there migraine or spicy fried noodles so totally it's a pretty chill out place and you can sometimes spot some sea turtles there on the boulevard <laughs> So that's about it guys those are the hangout places that i've recently visited i'm pretty sure there are more out there and i have more on my list but um, i haven't featured yet so i probably do that sometime in one of my vlogs as well and you can comment down if you want to suggest a place or if you have any queries for me yeah thank you for watching guys please like subscribe and share my next video is an island cruise beach vlog so Please stay tuned for that and for more videos in the future. Muchas gracias!